Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Patty. I do fashion and beauty videos every Thursday and Sunday. So if you're new here, welcome. I hope you subscribe. The link is down below. Now today's video, I'm going to be talking about Swim Miami. Uh, last month I was able to attend. This is like my third season attending. And if you don't know what it is, think fashion week, but bikinis. It's such a fun time. I love traveling down to Miami for work. It is just such a fun time just to see new trends and obviously Miami, hello, the beach. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and be sharing all my looks, all my favorite looks from the runway. And I'm also gonna be sharing all the goodies I received. So I'm gonna be doing kind of like a little bit of an unboxing. So this might be a little bit of a long video. So get your coffee, get your water, get your wine, whatever it is, and stay tuned. All right, let's start with day one. Day one was kind of like a very easy day because we only had one show. So it was a very chill, very relaxed kind of day. That day we had one show and that was to the Natasha Tonic show. That show was just amazing. I love the entire collection. And I wore a floral romper from Shein. It's very flowy. I love wearing things like that for Miami because it's just so hot. Unfortunately, I had to pick up my hair into a ponytail. Miami humidity always wins. My accessories were a wicker bag from Poolside, I had some sunglasses from Foster Grant, and also some simple wedges from Zappos. So that was my look from day one, and now here are some of my favorite looks from the Natasha Tonic Show. Now day two. Now this is where it starts to get fun. We had three shows at night. Agua Clara, Monday Swimwear, and Agua Bendita. Whenever there's multiple shows during Fashion Week, it's always like running from one place to the next because shows are like literally back to back. But I just love that madness. It's just so fun for me. Also during the day, I had an event with Ipsy and that was so much fun because there were so many different um, makeup brands like Derma E, Ofra, Pixie, and it was so much fun just kind of going booth to booth. And I'm definitely going to share with you guys at the end of this video everything I got from uh, that event. I have so many goodies to share with you guys. So the first look up was for Agua Clara. I wore a two-piece set from Shein. It was like blazer, a blazer and short set. I am obsessed with like two-piece sets now. I don't know. I just love it. I'm a big fan of blazers and I love the pinstripe on this. I wore it with a plain black shirt underneath and of course my natural hair had to come out because the humidity in Miami is just unbelievable. So I just, I just let the Miami heat win and just went with my hair natural. Also, I wore some flat white sandals by day two. I just, I couldn't wear it any heels it's like your heat it's like your feet expand in the heat and I just couldn't do heels anymore so these white sandals you're seriously gonna see them in every single outfit from here on all right and here are my favorite looks from the Agua Clara swim show All right, next up was Monday Swimwear. That one was uh, two designers in one show and their swimsuits were also just so amazing. I love that they were passionate about diversity and size and I love seeing that down the runway. I feel like that's just such an amazing thing to see nowadays. 
Now for this look, I wore a striped maxi dress from Ami Clubwear and I just love that it has pockets. I don't know, any garment with pockets is just such a big thing for me. And I wore it again with the same poolside bag. That bag was like my savior throughout the entire um, trip. It was pretty simple, but yet very comfortable. Honestly, one of my most comfortable looks for the entire trip. All right, and now here's some of my favorite looks from the Monday Swimwear Show. All right, now for this next show, Agua Bendita, I had so much fun in that show. I was so excited because I was able to get makeup touches by the brand that did the all the models for that show's um, makeup. It was so much fun. The brand is called Jampa. They are a Colombian beauty brand and I love learning about new brands and I had so much fun. I felt so pampered and they gave me so many makeup tips that I just love and I'm going to share with you guys here as well. The entire team was just very welcoming, very nice, and I was able to take home some goodies and I'm going to unbox that with you guys at the end of this video. Their makeup was just amazing. So thank you to Yambal for those makeup touches for the Agua Bendita show. Now here's some of my favorite looks from that runway show. All right guys, day three. Day three was another fun, packed full of shows and events. Uh, day at night, we had two shows and during the day we had about three daytime events. So one of the shows at night was Gotex. That show was amazing. I wanted every single swimsuit from that collection. I was so incredibly fortunate to sit front row. That's always such a great feeling doing what I do just to kind of be recognized by brands and get to sit you know front row. I had such a great time like I said I loved every single bathing suit from that collection. They also sent me uh, one of their swimsuits um, as well and I'm gonna share that with you guys it's just so beautiful. So for that show I wore a two-piece set and that one is from Femi Lux. It's like a houndstooth um, print boxy two-piece set like i said guys two-piece sets are like my thing now i don't know i just love two-piece sets so much right now at the moment and again the natural hair was out i could not deal with that humidity but you know what i kind of got accustomed to it after like day two i'm not a big fan of like my natural curly hair everybody loves it but for some reason me i just i do not love it i like it but i don't love it but honestly it worked for Miami and that was pretty much my hair all the time. Day four was the last day and that one was a packed day at night with a few shows. It was actually two shows at night, Life by Swim and Fashion Palette, but Fashion Palette had eight designers. I'm talking about eight designers back to back. That was like a ton of bikinis overload. So my look for that day was a pink midi skirt with a polka dot bandeau top. Again, very comfortable anything to get me through that Miami humidity I'm all good for and again natural hair and those same sandals I literally packed six pairs of shoes and wore the same ones every day why 
do we do that? Why do we women do that? It's just so crazy. So now here's my favorite looks from the shows at night. All right, now here's my favorite part of the video. It's the unboxing of everything I got when I was in swim week. I'm gonna go ahead and start with um, day two. We were able to visit kind of like a showroom with uh, different brands and some of them did give us um, some goodies. And this one is one of them. And this one is from a brand called Bamboo Blue. And it's kind of like a sleeveless um, kind of uh, top. And I just love the print. The designer was from Bali and she was so amazing, so nice. And this is just super cute. I wanna wear this with like jeans um, or over a swimsuit. This is very, very nice. Next up is a pair of shoes from Alexandria Brando. The designer herself, she was very sweet, very nice, and her shoes were amazing. Um, we were able to take a pair home, which was very nice of her. So these are like some silver um, jelly sandals. They are so cute. I love the little details around it. It has a little strap here so you can adjust it as well. And I love the little sparkle all over the base of the shoe. I'm definitely going to wear these before the summer is over. All right, and one of the daytime events was an in-store um, event with guests. And we got this super cool tote. And one of the guest stars there was Diana Georgie, which she used to be a model for guests. And now she's um, a DJ. And she also designed the tote, which is pretty cute. And also in the tote, there was a guest watch and it has like a blue and pink tropical print on it. This is very cute and I would definitely wear this before the summer ends. All right, and next up, it's the makeup brand. I was telling you guys that I had makeup such as four for one of these shows and the brand is Yambal. And this is the goodie box I was able to take with me and let me show you guys what's inside. Let's start with the lipstick first and the packaging is all black, very sleek. And this color is called Lady Malbec. And it's like a nice nudie kind of um, brownish kind of, kind of color. Let's go ahead and swash it. It's actually more like a deep blush kind of color, almost like a plum. All right, next up is the primer that I'm opening here, which is great because the primer I was using is running out, so I wanted to try something different. And this is what the packaging looks like. This here is the mascara, and it's a volumizing um, long lash mascara. This is what it looks like. And then the liquid highlighter. And this is the one they actually used on me that day. That thing was super, super um, bright, very luminous. And you guys know I'm obsessed with highlighters. So this, I'm definitely going to be using it. And at least this is the perfume that was in the box. And it's called Cori Rose. And let's see what it looks like. And this is what the bottle looks like. The packaging is super cute. And this smells amazing. Oh yeah, this definitely smells really, really good. And it's gonna look very pretty on my vanity. All right, and last but not least, it's the goodies I got from the Ipsy event. There were so many different booths, so many different brands. There's so much stuff in here. This bag is pretty much broken. 
Um, so let's go ahead and dive into it because it's a lot of stuff in here. All right, so the first product I'm pulling out here, this is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I heard so many great things about this mascara, so I cannot wait to try. I know a few girls I follow on Instagram, they swear by this mascara and they even show a before and after and I'm I'm, I'm sold, so I cannot wait to try this. Here, this is the Lorac 3-in-1 Illuminating Primer. Again, anything with highlight and illuminating, I'm all for, so um, I can't wait to try this. This here, this is from Ofra, and this is their Foamy Vitamin C Cleanser. Now, I love vitamin C um, products. I never have tried anything other than makeup um from ofra so i can't wait to try this cleanser there's also a dry shampoo from Aoi. there was also sol de janeiro their um creams smell so 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 good i've never tried this one i have tried the yellow one before oh my god these things these babies smell so good and this here is from bioderma i never tried this brand and this is their purifying, um, cleansing micellar solution. So can't wait to try this brand. And this here is from Derma E and this is their sun protection mineral powder with SPF 30. And this is from DHC, again, another brand that's new for me. And this is their deep cleansing oil facial cleanser. And this goodie here, this is from Morphe and this is their high impact highlighter i think i have enough highlighters to play with i love the packaging and this is what it looks like it's kind of subtle subtle for me because i just i love um very high impact highlighters but i love this color there is also a pixie lip icing this is a lip glow another highlighter from Ofra and Zelly I'm swimming in highlighters now guys and this one if you can see this one looks really intense I have um, another favorite of mine from Ofra and I actually did that in my top five highlighter videos which I'm gonna leave a link for you guys below and they have some amazing highlighters I mean look at this this looks amazing there's two more products in here and this is a blackhead uh, removal mask I'm a big fan of masks and last but not least this is from pure Elise, and this is a coconut oil coffee sugar body scrub I've tried pure Elise's um, uh, masks before and I love them so this is a body scrub and can't wait to try this all right, guys, that is it for this video. I know it was a very long one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I had so much fun bringing you guys along for my week in Miami. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. The link is down below. There's a new video every Thursday and every Sunday. And if you want to follow me on social media, you can find me under Patty's underscore closet. And I hope you subscribe. See you guys in my next video.